Today we're going to be tying the Lunker Buster bait fish. Cover a third of your hook shank with your lead free wire. Condense the wire by pushing it together. Once you've done that, slide it into position and then grab your bobbin and start your thread base right behind the wire. Work away from the wire, then trim your tag end. And now we're going to cover the lead free wire with your thread. You want about approximately a shank length of marabou hanging off the back of the fly. So once you've measured that out, tie it in by making a couple loose wraps and then pull it tight. If need be, add an extra clump of marabou if it's not as full as you'd like to be. Making a loose wrap and then pulling it tight and then finish tying it in. Stop right behind the lead free wire and cut your tag ends tight to it. Then cover the cut ends with a few more thread wraps. Now we're going to tie in our mono weed guard, but instead of guarding us from weeds, we're going to use this to keep our zonker strip from wrapping around the bend of the hook. Tie it in off to the side of the hook shank and allow the memory to sweep over to the side that you want to tie it in next. This makes it so you're not trying to fight it and make it bend the way you want to. It just naturally rests onto that side. Now make a couple wraps to capture it on the opposite side of the hook shank. Before cinching it tight, make sure it's resting exactly the way you want. Now cut the tag end of the leader material. Then continue making locking wraps until you cover the cut end. Then bring your thread back down. Now we're going to take one more clump of marabou and tie it in over the weed guard, making sure the tips line up with the previous clumps we tied in earlier. Then cut the tag end and make thread wraps covering those cut ends. Take five or so strands of flash and tie the center of it in off to the side of the hook shank. Once you have them tied in, you can pull your strands to the opposite side of the shank. And then you can start tying them in on that side. Cut some of the fur off the tip of the zonker strip. Then hold the zonker strip directly on top of the lead free wire we had put on earlier. The reason we're giving ourselves this much room is that way we won't crowd the eye of the hook when we create our dubbing brush and make connecting wraps with it up towards the eye. Now you can cut your flashaboo to the same length as the zonker strip. Now we're going to take a permanent marker and put our bars in. Don't try to draw across the zonker strip. Instead, slowly dot across it and let the ink soak in. We are going to prep for our dubbing loop by mixing our angel's hair and craft fur. Just lay them on each other and keep pulling and stacking until they are mixed. 
Once this is done, you can stage them how you would like to load them into the loop. Alright, now we're going to make a dubbing loop. Simply loop your thread around your dubbing loop tool, and then make a wrap around the shank. And then take your bobbin and wrap it around your dubbing loop a couple of times, and then back over the shank. Then fold the dubbing loop up against the shank and make thread wraps back towards the zonker strip. And then bring your thread back up towards the eye of the hook. Separate your loop with your fingertips. Then start loading all of your craft fur angel hair mix into the dubbing loop. Make sure your craft fur mixture is evenly loaded throughout the loop. Now you can spin your dubbing loop. Once it's spun up, start to brush and get all those trap fibers out. Now that you've finished brushing out your loop, you can start making connecting wraps up the shank towards the eye of the hook. After each wrap, I take a quick look and see if there's any trapped fibers. If so, I pick or brush them free before making my next wrap. Before making that next wrap, pull back all the fibers. That way you kind of help prevent trapping any of them. And we're just going to continue to brush and wrap until we reach the eye of the hook. Once you've reached the eye of the hook, it's time to tie in your dubbing brush. Wet your fingertips and run them over the head of the fly to hold the fibers back. Then make one wrap around the dubbing brush. Cut the tag end free, and then make a couple more wraps, helping tie it in and building up a small hot spot behind the eye of the hook. Trim up around the eye of the hook, then make a few more wraps to help build in that hot spot. Then throw in a whip finish. Cut your thread free. Now take your brush and brush out your fly. This will align all the fibers and remove any loose ones. For our last step, we're going to coat our threads with a UV flow or thin. Once you've coated the threads, you can grab your UV light and cure them. This is just going to make your fly more durable. There you have it, the Lunker Buster. We'll see you guys on the water.